Hello, I'm Anup. I'm a design engineering director with Cadence's post silicon validation team. Today I'm going to be demonstrating Cadence's 32 GTPS UCI 5's performance here. So we have the DUT inside this evaluation board right inside the socket. We have uh, in this uh, device, we have two links formed for UCI. One is formed with a 7.4 mm channel. The other one is with a 25 mm channel. So the maximum reach uh, specification for UCI is 25 mm. So we have one channel that covers that. So here, one thing about this link training is that the whole LTSSM training flow is handled automatically by the Phi RTL. There's no need for any external firmware or uh, script intervention to enable the training. And once the other feature of this uh, Phi is that we don't need an external calibration resistor on the board to enable impedance calibrations. It's all done internally. And apart from these two links, which means four dies, we have a fifth die who doesn't have a partner. In this evaluation platform, we have tracers connecting from the singleton dies output to this uh, Samtech bullseye cable connector, which takes the transmitter outputs that transmitter data lane and clock lane outputs to the commercially available UXR 70 gigahertz oscilloscope from Keyside so that we can view the eye diagram at the oscilloscope on the data eye where we fold the UIs with respect to the forwarded clock. And we can clearly see that the eyes are pretty open, pretty wide open at 32 GDPS. And here we have the GUI which enables us to perform certain diagnostic and debug observations on the link and monitor the live link health status. So right now, we have uh, both our links active, the 7.4 mm link and the 25 mm link are both up and running and active as we can see here. And we have been running um, an error count check here for quite some time. So we have counted around two E15 bits and the bit counter is still incrementing. And as we can see, we have not made any errors yet on any of the 16 lanes on either the 7.4 mm channel or the 25 mm channel here, which shows that we are comfortably compliant with the UCI 1E15 target BR spec. We have pretty wide open eyes. These are the eye diagrams perceived as a receiver sampler. So we have the summary of these eyes across all 16 lanes, which can be observed in this tab. We can see that the eyes are pretty uniform across all 16 lanes. And we also have the aggregate eye, which is formed by considering the worst case out of all the 16 lanes. These are the eyes for the 25 mm channel. And then we have the eyes for the 7.4 mm channel as well all of which demonstrates pretty wide and pretty evenly matched eye openings. The bathtub curves available for the horizontal bathtub as well as the vertical bathtub. Now, why do we need these? UCI spec mandates that you're supposed to meet a target BR of 1E-15 for 32 GTPS. So what we do is we perform the eye width measurements, right, across 1E-10, 1E-11, 1E-12, and then we linearly extrapolate the curve in this fashion, and we ensure that we still have an eye opening at a target BR level of 1E-15. A similar execution is done even for the vertical bathtub, as we can see where we sweep the V reference voltage point for the comparator. And that way we are able to generate the vertical eye surf as well. And we can see that even for the aggregate vertical bathtub, we have pretty wide openings even at the, at the target BR level of 1E-15. Thank you for watching the demonstration. Please visit cadence.com for additional information. Thank you.